Namaste everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pooja and this is the daily pranayam series. Today we will practice Bhastrika Pranayam, the bellows breath. Let's get started. All right, friends, let's get ready for our Bhastrika Pranayam practice by getting into a comfortable seated position, either on a mat or on a chair. Today we will practice technique one of Bhastrika, which is the preparatory stage, and technique two, which is Bhastrika through alternate nostrils. Before we jump into our practice, I'd like to say a few words about the precautions and the contraindications of this practice. At the end of the video, I will also give you a few of the benefits of this wonderful practice. So please do stay tuned until the end of the video so that you get to know more about the benefits of Bhastrika Pranayam. Coming to the precautions. Bhastrika is a very dynamic type of practice. Therefore, beginners are recommended to take a longer rest between each round. So please feel free to hit pause whenever you feel like you need a longer rest between each round that we will practice. Of course, at the end of the practice, I will lead you through a relaxing Shavasana. So you can definitely rest then. Also, Another thing to keep in mind is that there should be no strain or pain felt in the body throughout this practice. Think more of an accentuated normal breath. There should be no shaking in the shoulders. There should be no strain in the facial muscles either. If you do feel faint or you feel like you're perspiring excessively or you feel like vomiting, these may be signs and symptoms of an incorrect practice. So please stop the practice. If you get any of those symptoms, take some rest. Contraindications of Bhastrika. Anyone with high blood pressure, hernia, um, vertigo, stroke, must not practice Bhastrika. Also, if you are recovering from any lung-related issues such as um, tuberculosis or asthma, then please, please, please take enough rest before getting back to your practice and always, always consult a doctor before starting any new practice. All right, we're going to now begin our Technique one of Bhastrika Pranayam. So we are in a comfortable seated position with our spine nice and long and our neck in alignment with the spine. Okay, let's just take a moment to tune into the breath. So it's nothing very complicated. You can either lower the gaze or close your eyes and just begin to feel the flow of air in and out of your body through the nose. So letting go or taking this time to let go of any expectations or any preconceived notions and approaching this practice with the mind of a beginner. And this is something that is very, very helpful to get the most of each practice. So let's take this moment to let go of any preconceived notions. giving each breath our full attention, our full awareness, and feeling grateful for each breath as it comes. Wonderful. If you had closed your eyes, you can slowly start to blink them to open. Good. We will now begin the practice. So the inhalation and the exhalations will be with equal force. Now, if you're familiar with Kapalbhati, then you know that the exhalation is a very sharp exhalation and it is done with some force as we pull the belly button in. In Bhastrika, both the inhalation and the exhalation are nice and strong with force and nice and sharp, okay? So the way we're going to do this is that when we take our breath in, our abdomen is going to inflate and expand. And as we exhale, 
we're going to draw the belly button in towards the spine. Okay, so the movements are a bit exaggerated in this practice because we are using a little bit of force. Having said this, always, always remember that there is no strain or pain felt in the body. As you practice regularly, your abdominal muscles will get stronger and you will be able to do this more and more comfortably. Okay, um, so think of a very rhythmical breath. Okay, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, there are different speeds at which you can do this. It can be slow, medium, or fast. When you think of slow, it's more like one breath every two seconds. Medium is one breath per second. And fast would be uh, two breaths per second. Okay, so again, you can get into the medium and fast pace as you practice and as your practice gets stronger and more regular. Okay, so don't worry too much about this, but just keep your breath rhythmical, whatever pace you are at. To prepare, we're going to breathe in deeply and then we're going to exhale forcefully, drawing the belly button in and immediately inhale forcefully. So I'm placing my hands here just so that you see the movement of my abdomen, okay? You may simply place your hands wherever they lie comfortably, on the knees or on the thighs, palms facing up, in Gyana Mudra, index and thumbs meet. Relax the shoulders completely, okay? So the way we're going to do this is 10 breaths. That will be one round and we will do three rounds. You can practice up to five rounds, but I would recommend starting with maybe two or three rounds if you're a beginner and then slowly progressing to up to five rounds. Okay, so let's try out the first round. Sit upright, hands in Gyan Mudra, shoulders relaxed, neck in alignment with the spine. Go ahead and close your eyes if you're comfortable doing that or simply lower the gaze. Your full attention is on the breath now. Inhale deeply to prepare. And through both the nostrils, exhale sharply. Inhale, exhale. 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 Very, very good. Release, take a deep breath in. And a full, slow breath out. Very good. This was round one of Bhastrika Technique 1. Allow the body to absorb the benefits of this practice. And whenever you're ready, blink your eyes to open before we move into our second round. Great. So this was just to give you a feel of um, this practice and the movements in the abdomen. Again, just remember that there is no excessive shaking in the shoulders. It's mostly just the abdominal uh, muscles doing the work. So it's just movement here that we should be feeling. Um, again, like I said, remember it's all through the nose. No uh, strain in the facial muscles or in the forehead. Okay, let's get into our second round. So remember the way we started uh, is by taking a deep breath in to prepare and then we exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, both with force 10 times. And then to finish, we take a deep breath in and exhale slowly. All right, let's do our second round. Sit upright, check in with your spine and the neck. Let's begin. Full attention on the breath. Inhale deeply to prepare and start. Once you're done, Take a deep breath in, 
and slowly exhale out completely. And then take a couple of normal breaths and whenever you're ready, blink your eyes to open. Good. I hope that the second round went a little more smoothly than the first round um, and that you're kind of getting the hang of it now. We will move into our third round now. Okay. As you can feel it, I'm sure there's a lot of action going on here. Uh, I forgot to mention it in the beginning, but this is pretty obvious. This must not be practiced on a full stomach. So do not attempt this after your meals. Okay. This is best practiced on an empty stomach. Okay, very good. Let's go into our third and last round for today. Sit straight, relax the shoulders, full attention on the breath, inhale to prepare, and begin. Release, take a deep breath in, full breath out, and then whenever you're ready, blink your eyes to open. So I know that it might feel counterintuitive to pull the belly button in as we exhale and expand as we inhale, but this comes with practice. So keep practicing, inhaling to expand, exhaling to draw the belly in. And this is possible because of this wonderful uh, muscle that sits right under our uh, rib cage, the diaphragm. And as we inhale and expand, the diaphragm is pushed down and that massages our internal organs. Of course, I'll talk more about the benefits after, but just so that you understand how this is possible. And when you exhale and pull the belly button in, the diaphragm lifts up to create space for the belly button to draw in and the ribs to come in together. Okay, so be mindful and conscious of this action as well. Diaphragm drawing down and up. All right, great. Now we will move into technique two. Technique two is done through alternate nostrils, which means that we will control the flow of air through both the nostril use, nostrils using our hand. So like we do in Nadi Shodhan or the purification of energy channels breath work practice, we're going to use the right hand either in Nasagra Mudra by placing the index and middle fingers right in the center of our eyebrows and then using the thumb to close and open the right nostril and the ring finger to open and close the left nostril. You can either choose this or Vishnu Mudra where you bend the index and middle fingers and then do the same. Okay. So one round of this technique comprises of 10 inhalations and exhalations. So 10 breaths through the left nostril only, Bhastrika, forceful inhale, forceful exhale, 10. Then we, sw then we take a deep breath in, full breath out, just like we did in technique one. Then we switch to the right nostril and we do nostril and 10 breaths through the right nostril now. Forceful inhales and exhales, 10 breaths, followed by one deep inhale, full exhale. Then we will lower our hand and do 10 breaths through both the nostrils, just like we did in technique one. And this is one round in technique two. So once again, to summarize, 10 breaths, left nostril, deep inhale, deep exhale. 10 breaths of Bhastrika through, right, through the right nostril, followed by deep inhale, full exhale. 10 breaths through both the nostrils, Bhastrika, forceful inhales and exhales, and we finish off with one deep inhale and a full exhale. All right. Again, we're going to practice three rounds. If at any point this feels like it's too much, please take a break, take some rest, and then join us back when you're ready. Again, like I said, you can progress to up to five rounds, but I think a, a good place to start would be three rounds. Let's begin. Sit upright. Left hand can be in, um, in Gyan Mudra, index and thumbs meet. However, if your right shoulder gets tired, you can always support 
the weight of your right arm with the with the left arm all right so take the mudra of your choice nasagra mudra or vishnu mudra close the right nostril with your thumb full attention on the breath now let's begin with 10 breaths through the left nostril inhale deeply to prepare exhale forcefully inhale exhale good inhale deeply exhale slowly switch to the right nostril close the left open the right inhale deeply and begin Inhale deeply, exhale slowly and completely. Keep your eyes closed, release your hand. 10 Bhastika breaths through both the nostrils now. Inhale to prepare. Exhale forcefully, draw the belly in. Inhale. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. Let's move straight into our second round. Close the right nostril with your thumb. Inhale deeply through the left to prepare. Exhale, draw the belly in. Inhale forcefully, keep going. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly, close the left nostril, open the right, inhale deeply, exhale forcefully. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly, release the hand, inhale deeply, exhale forcefully. Inhale deeply, exhale fully, good, relax, take a normal breath and we have reached our last round of this technique, so when you're ready, close your right nostril, inhale deeply, and begin inhale deeply exhale fully close the left nostril open the right inhale Begin your Bhastrika Pranayam, exhale. Inhale. 
exhale release the hand inhale through both the nostrils and begin Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Relax completely and take a few normal breaths here. Just breathing in and out through the nose. Just notice how you feel. Notice any sensations you might be feeling or, or experiencing in the body. And whenever you're ready, I invite you to lie down on the mat in Shavasana, the final resting posture. And as you lie down in Shavasana, I'm going to tell you just a few words about the benefits of this wonderful practice. So you may just listen and just breathe normally. So as you lie down, I invite you to really, really allow the whole body to let go of any effort. Let go of physical effort, let go of mental effort, and allow the body to be here and experience stillness and rest. Now coming to the benefits of Bhastrika. This practice helps to burn up toxins and eliminate waste um, through that forceful exhalation that we take. There is an increase in the exchange of air in the lungs, which leads to an increase of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in and out of the bloodstream which means that our metabolism gets a nice boost. Our metaboli metabolism gets stronger as we practice Bhastrika regularly. It is also great for the nervous system because it helps to strengthen and harmonize and balance our nervous system, giving us a, a sense of peace, of tranquility and of harmony. Of course, you might have felt this already. It is great for the abdominal muscles. It helps to tone and strengthen our abdominal or, uh, muscles. Coming to the or abdominal organs, like I mentioned earlier, as the diaphragm moves up and down, it gives a nice little massage to our abdominal organs, which helps to tone them and improve their function. So these are some of the benefits of this practice when practiced regularly and correctly. I thank you for joining me in this practice and for your participation. You may choose to stay in Shavasana for as long as it serves you. Thank you very much once again. I will see you next time. Namaste.